H22 timing tensioner. It's a direct replacement for the factory hydraulic tensioner that commonly fails. We have a limited quantity of the black anodized ones. Uh, these are going to be available for a short period of time only. Uh, they function the same, they're just anodized black and then laser etched with all of them. So this is your factory hydraulic tensioner. Uh, the tension for the timing belt is set automatically and you don't have any control over it and commonly this tensioner will fail and cause there to be no tension on the timing belt causing you to skip teeth and bend valves. The solution in the past has been H23 manual tensioner conversion parts. Um, it's always a pain in the ass. Uh, it's really difficult to get the timing belt uh, anything but super tight. Um, so our solution is just a two bolt uh, factory manual tensioner uh, just directly replaces that remove two bolts bolt this one in and then set your tension included with every kit is our stainless steel wrench it's got two different offsets so between this side and this side and then the other angle you're able to get every different angle on the adjustment uh, excuse me on the lock nut so whether you use our regular tensioner or our limited edition black anodized one, um, you'll set, you'll be able to lock the tension in with the wrench that's included with every kit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this timing tensioner um, and then install our manual tensioner uh, in just a minute here, uh, right here in front, of, in front of you, so you can see how easy it is to install. Now remember, this stud serves no purpose because the tensioner actually pivots at this point here. So this stud is only necessary if you have the balance shafts. We clearly don't, so we can remove it. So now you see, this is the tensioner pulley that actually tensions the timing belt. So all that you need to do now is install our tensioner Make sure that it's, uh, it, this is adjustable up. So just make sure that it's all the way down. Now, we're gonna put the timing belt back on and all you need to do is adjust this up and you'll see that that tension to this pulley. I've got my engine at top dead center, so I'm going to install my timing belt. Now all the slack is on the tension side. So all I need to do is pull this up by hand, and as you can see, that tensions the timing belt. So I get it finger tight, and you can see my jam nut has come up with the tension rod. Now I'll just take a regular 9 16 wrench and I'll get my tension just a little bit tighter. So I'll just tighten the jam nut finger tight there and I'll grab the wrench that's supplied with each timing tensioner. And you're good to go. So the most important thing and the most commonly asked question is how tight do I set my timing belt. Previously, with the auto tensioner, the tension was set for us. But now that you are using the Kaizen Speed manual tensioner, the one that's not going to fail, we're going to need to set the tension. So this is a properly tensioned timing belt, and you need to check tension in three different spots. So on the long run, here, in the short run, and on top of the cam here. You want to make sure that it's tight in all three of those areas and then you're in good shape. So just use common sense and it'll work great. So this is an H22 with our balance shaft eliminator kit, crankshaft spacer, and manual tensioner installed. This is about as simple as it gets and uh, that's really what we're all about is simple and clean. So you get rid of the balance shaft belt, balance shafts, uh, drive pulley, idler pulley, factory hydraulic tensioner, 
and the stud here, and it just makes for a simple uh, timing belt change, no more balance shafts, and uh, no more failed tensioners since we replaced the factory hydraulic tensioner.